So it is a light dependent reaction which includes the absorption and conversion of the light energy into the energy rich molecules that means ATP and NADPH and it takes place inside the thylakoid of the grana and this process starts with the absorption of the light energy by incident light energy by the core molecules and the antennae molecules that mean the harvesting molecules of photosystems photosystems also called as quantosomes and then transfer of this energy to the reaction center and now finally the reaction center undergoes photo excitation and liberates or emits a pair of electron now these electrons emitted or ejected by the photosystems are accepted by the acceptors which are in the electron transport system we'll be learning about this on in the next classes electron transport system or the chain and finally in this process the reduction of NADP into NADPH or NADPH2 takes place and it also causes the formation of ATP and that's why this process is called as photophosphorylation. Uh, thus the flow of the electrons through the ETS is linked to the photophosphorylation. We will be learning about this topic in the later classes. Now the next thing which is important in the light reaction is the photolysis of water. I have already told you breakdown of the water in the presence of light is called as photolysis of water. So in, the, in this process water splits into H+, water splits into nascent oxygen and splits into the electrons. The two electrons obtained from the photolysis of one molecule of water is passed on to photosystem second. We will be learning in detail this thing on the next page. So photosystem second will receive the electrons from the water molecule. This oxygen will go out as byproduct and this H plus will accumulate inside the lumen. We all know what is lumen is going to accumulate inside this area. This uh, each thylakoid has a cavity inside that cavity is called as lumen. So H plus accumulates inside the lumen or the cavity. An oxygen evolving complex located on the inner side of thylakoid membrane is also involved. Photolysis of water uh, was first described by Van Neel in 1931 and demonstrated by Robert Hill in 1937. That's why it is also called as a part of the Hill's reaction. Uh, we need to remember that photolysis of water requires manganese chloride ion as well as the calcium ion. So these are the metal ions or you can say cofactors. We have already covered cofactors in the ninth chapter. So these are the cofactors involved in the process of the photolysis of water. And this is how we represent photolysis of water. The two molecules of water in the presence of light and because of the reactions going on because of chlorophyll molecules splits the water into four uh, protons four electrons and one oxygen molecule which is liberated outside or, or is released outside in the form of a gas. Uh, this is the byproduct of light reaction. So this much happens in the light reaction. Uh, now the next thing to understand is the photophosphorylation. Now what is photophosphorylation? Synthesis of ATP with the help of the light energy. This is the simplest definition of photophosphorylation. Actually, what exactly happened is ATP, ADP joins with one inorganic phosphate. I stands for inorganic, P stands for phosphate. So ADP reacts with one inorganic phosphate to give rise to ATP, that is the energy currency. So this attachment of inorganic phosphate to any molecule is called as phosphorylation and because we are talking about photosynthesis and the light driven reactions that's why it is called as photophosphorylation. I hope this point is clear to you. So photophosphorylation is the light driven or light energized synthesis of ATP molecule. And this was first explained and discovered by Arnon and his co-workers in the year 1954. Photophosphorylations are of two types, cyclic type as well as the non-cyclic type. So what is cyclic and non-cyclic? It's very easy to understand. 
when both the photosystems are involved it is called as non cyclic photosystem first as well as photosystem second when only one system is involved it is called as the cyclic photophosphorylation so let's uh, let's understand the meaning according to the word also non cyclic means electron is excite ele uh, according to the excitement electron pair is lost an electron pair will not come back that's why it is called as the non cyclic type of photophosphorylation but what happens in the cyclic electrons after getting after excitement the reaction center will liberate the electrons pair and these electron pairs will come back that's why it is called as the cyclic type of photophosphorylation now let, let's quickly go through the notes which i have written here so the formation of atp during the uh, see there are some certain facts which you have to just memorize here so in this process atp formation occurs and uh, this atp formation during the non cyclic transfer of electrons non cyclic means it is not coming back is called as non cyclic photophosphorylation electrons get consumed in this process now you can see here photosystem second gets excited and loses electron electrons are shifted to photosystem <coughs> sorry i forgot to mention here photosystem first and this photosystem first will lose its electron finally to nadp and thus nadp will turn into nadph2 so in this process electron travel in a non cyclic manner and will finally go where NADPH, NADP, so it will turn into NADPH2. So now uh, the lo electron lost from here goes here. The electron lost from here goes here. So whatever is lost by this this photosystem will be given by this system, and whatever is lost from here will go here. So who will uh, work for the loss which is which is made to the photosystem second is it is the water molecule so water molecule undergoes splitting to release electrons if you remember in the last page we have done that electron lost uh, formed in the photolysis of water shifts to photosystem second so water undergoes splitting to to pass on electron to photosystem second second will pass on its electrons to this first and first will pass on its electron to nadp that's why it is called as non cyclic photophosphorylation and what